In our everyday lives, we use a base 10 or decimal numbering system. Each digit can have one of 10 different values, 0 through 9. You can express the number 9145 in the following manner. 9 times 10 to the 3 plus 1 times 10 to the 2 plus 4 times 10 to the 1 plus 5 times 10 to the 0. Notice that each digit, 9, 1, 4, 5, is multiplied by the base, 10, that is raised to some power. With four digits, we can store 10 to the 4 or 10,000 unique numbers, 0 through 9,999. You can also think of this as us having the ability of storing 10,000 unique pieces of information. Binary numbers use 2 as their base instead of 10. Each digit can store only one of two values, 0 or 1. And you can think of the binary number 1001 in the following manner. 1 times 2 to the 3 plus 0 times 2 to the 2 plus 0 times 2 to the 1 plus 1 times 2 to the 0. Notice that each digit, 1, 0, 0, 1, is multiplied by the base, which is 2 in this case, to some power. So with four digits, we can store 2 to the 4, or 16 unique numbers, or unique pieces of information. The binary number, 1, 0, 0, 9, can be expressed in decimal form as the number 9. Here are some more examples of how binary numbers can be converted to decimal numbers. So as we discussed before, in a base 2 numbering system, each digit, or we can also call that digit a bit, can store one of two different values, 0 or 1. Now what does this mean for computers? Well, in RAM, information is stored in capacitors. If a capacitor is charged, that represents 1. If a capacitor is discharged, that represents 0. So there are only two states that the capacitor can be in. The 1's and zeros are just our numerical representation of the physical states of a capacitor. So if we allocate 8 bits or 1 byte to store information, we can store 2 to the 8 or 256 unique numbers or unique pieces of information. An 8-bit unsigned integer then can only store the values 0 through 255.